I'm probably the most far from perfect person ever. A broken stippling brush. I'm literally blending in to my wall, aren't I? Why do I make problems for myself? What do we think? Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so much. And if you are new, hello, I'm Sean. lovely to meet you. And also, hello, angry hormonal skin. Is anybody else having issues with their skin during this lockdown? Cause I feel like it's just me at the minute. I'm quite late to this trend, but today I am going to try to attempt to do the foxy eye look that has taken over Instagram and YouTube over the past few weeks. So if anybody has not seen the picture, I will pop it up just here for some reference for you. I'm not too sure how to pronounce her name, but it's Alexa Demi, Alexa Demi. I'm probably gonna get slated so much for actually not knowing her name. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't actually know who she is. I only know her from this boxy eye trend that she started. <sighs> Please don't hate me. If you'd like to see me try to do this look, then carry on watching. Also, just a quick side note, I've not practiced this look, so you will be seeing me do this for the first time time but then again what is new on my channel i don't think i've ever practiced a look that i've done and to be honest i quite like that because i feel like i don't know i just like the fact that you are joining me do things for the first time on this channel and i am not a particularly polished by all means not perfect person i'm probably the most far from perfect person ever and i make mistakes in makeup in daily life that's just part of me so i don't i don't know i just like the fact that you see me do mess ups and see me get things not quite right because that's just what i'm like every day all right then enough waffling shan i definitely do too much of that as well let's crack on with this look i'm just gonna pop the picture up just one more time just so we can really kind of have a look at it um so obviously she's stunning the kind of overgrown, fluffy, no product on the eyebrow is very on trend at the minute. And the whole thing about this look really is lifting everything up, isn't it? It's very lifted. Obviously, she's got some amazing cheekbones. And it's actually quite, I think it's quite a simple look, to be honest. But we're going to give it a go anyway. And as you guys know, if you've been watching my previous, especially my more recent videos, I quite like bringing my product up to the temple anyway. So that should be all right. It's very clean cut though, isn't it? She's got like a smoky wing going on so we can do that, I think. All right, let's, um, let's start. So I'm gonna do a more kind of natural fluffy brow. I'm not gonna go too overboard with the fluffiness like I have been doing recently. I'm using my pink honey brow glue for anybody who doesn't know what it looks like it comes in this lovely jar this is the larger size of it pink honey uk is their instagram and it's just a super strong hold brow glue so you, it does come with a spoolie but i've kind of wrecked that already so i've just got another one and i've got here a empty setting spray bottle and i've just filled it with water because you need water to activate it and then i'm just spraying my spoolie brush and then i'm gonna swirl this around i'm gonna do it for about eight to ten seconds and then we're just gonna brush this product through the brows and then you follow with a finger just to flatten it it gives a nice laminated effect I think that'll do. I don't want to go too overboard with the fluffiness. I'm just gonna grab a hairband to move my hair out of the way because I forgot to do that. All right, now I'm gonna go on with some foundation. So today I'm using my Primark Double Coverage Matte Foundation. It is SPF as well. Oh, I best give it a bit of a shake. And then just using a stippling, oh, a broken stippling brush. I'm just gonna swirl this on. Hopefully you can see what good coverage this foundation actually is because it's covered up pretty much most of my angry spots, which is great. 
I've also just got a Primark concealer, liquid concealer, medium coverage in porcelain. I'm just using a little brush, I'm just going to blend this in. And then I'm just using the foundation and contour stick in, I think it's, yeah, caramel, which is Primark again. And I'm just getting a little sponge. So I'm really going to try and bring my contour up as well. And then let's pack on some powder. So I'm going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm literally blending in to my wall, aren't I? As you can tell, I'm not wearing any fake tan. <laughs> I'm just going to give this a minute to set and then I'll brush off. Okay, I'm going to work first with bronzing my skin up before I do the eye look, I think. Okay, so to bronze, I'm going to try using the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder from Primark. I'm absolutely not the best at contouring my nose. I've always struggled with it, to tell you the truth. I have no idea if that actually looks any better or worse. I think that's why I don't get on with nose contouring, because I can't tell if it's actually making my nose look bigger or smaller. So now that the base bronzer is on, let me just look at the picture again. Yeah, now I think let's start by working on the eyes. So I've just got some P. Louise base in shade zero just because i have no fake tan on at the minute and i'm just going to start to apply this everywhere i'm not using loads i just want it to be just a little sticky <sighs> bless me so i think i'm actually just gonna start by using some bronzer she kind of has it kind of coming down her nose to almost like alter well she's basically just like contouring her eye really isn't she okay well at the moment i feel like i'm just making myself look very hollow but guys it's always a running theme on my channel that the looks look absolutely rubbish until the last minute so we could turn it around now for the next bit i'm gonna actually get some tape Are they even? Probably not. Right, now let's take this bronzer and then just sweep it kind of all over. And then I'm just going to bring the bronzer kind of just underneath like the tail of my eyebrow. So I've actually got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette here that I've not used in ages. So let's take Raw Sienna and just start to put that on over here. And then let's deepen that up with Cypress Umber. And I'll tell you what I'll do next, actually. In the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the lightest shade in the top left corner, Tempura, we're gonna take a nice load of that. I don't wanna cut the crease for the lighter bit because I feel like that's just gonna be too, like, clean and it's not a clean look. So I'm just taking this light shade and just putting that kind of where I would like cut the crease but just using this brush to just soften it because I don't want it to be too clean. Let us go back in with Cypress Umber and I'm gonna start to bring it in and smoke it out along the lash line. And I'm also gonna take Raw Sienna just underneath but I'm not going all the way into the inner corner because we're gonna add detail with the black at the end. And then going in with Cypress Umber again. 
I wish I put stuff back because I've got an angled brush somewhere that's really good. I can't find it because I've not put it back. Oh, why do I make problems for myself? There it is, it was hiding. Now, I've got a black in my Naked 2 palette. I've not picked this up in a bloody long time. I'm only going to use literally like a dab of the black. And then I've got a really sharp angled brush that I'm going to dip into this black. To do that detail, I don't know if you can see that. Get some black eyeliner. And just smoking that out. And then with my detailer angle brush. We're just gonna bring it in like so to create that kind of illusion because dipping in with this detail liner brush again, I'm just gonna take it along the edge of that tape and then smoke it out. And then let's try to peel these off. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more bronzer just to blend up here so it's not looking like too sharp. I'm just adding a little bit of blush and I just need to blend down here. Right, I need to darken my eyebrows because they're looking a bit too light at the minute. So I've just got my HD Brow Brow Tech in Vamp. I'm not worrying about being too neat or precise. But this is the bulk of the main eye look done. I think it looks okay. But off camera, I'm just going to add some mascara, lashes and do the lips. And then I shall be right back. Okay guys, what do we think? So I've added some lashes. So these are the Primark Sosu collaboration in Style Milan. I've done my lips. I've got on Primark Toffee Lip Liner with Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in shade With Love Olivia. I've done the little hair details as well. I've just used my Pink Honey brow glue to stick this down. And I've just added the little beauty spot detail. So let's bring the picture up for comparison. How is my attempt? Is it all right? <laughs> I hope it is. And I think it looks okay, actually. And I told you, it all comes together at the end. I somehow, I don't know how, but I somehow make it work. Trust the process. That's my slogan. All right, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you've enjoyed the look that I've managed to create today and if you think I've done it well, please give this video a thumbs up for me. If you're not yet subscribed, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. We're slowly, very slowly creeping up. So it'll be amazing to see more of you. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I shall see you next time. Bye.